Yeah, I guess the thing with StarCraft is I'm sure that happens all the time, too. I've definitely noticed it with my tanks in Mission 4, when they shoot just the depot, the silos. I've noticed it happen there, even, which obviously is really bad. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could probably calculate how many times it happens during a, during an average run. It's probably something you could plug into some formula and figure out with how many attacks that happen throughout each level. The fact that we have a pretty idea, pretty good idea of how much that'll be. But I could definitely never do a Pokemon game. Like, the thing, the thing with Pokemon is it's so mechanical, too. Like, your movement has to be really good. There's so much that goes into it. And, you know, to just, like, lose a run because... Like out of a because of a worn out of two to six chance, or I'm thinking of something in the later gens where like you are like manipulating RNG to catch like Kyogre in Gen three, something like that. Like that is a really hard trick. Although I guess like it's the same as like Mother Brain or the Baby Metroid skip. I mean Super Metroid. All this to say like. You know, there's some hard stuff at the end of these runs, too. I guess I can't really complain about that. Because other games have really hard stuff at the end of their runs. Right away. I messed this up. Yeah, I was just thinking about that today, though, because I was watching someone do Pokemon... I don't know what Pokemon it was, first gen. I don't think it was yellow, I think it was red or blue, but I don't know which one. But I believe the strats are the same anyway. But yeah, and like, you know, every Mega Punch he missed, he would just be like, of course! <laughs> I just thought it was kind of amusing. Because I know I do the same exact thing. Because there's so many tricks that you know have low chance of working consistently. But, you know, as someone playing the game, I think you completely have the right to get angry about it. It's like playing FFT and, like, like the AI uses, like, a, I don't know, something that has, like, some ability that has a 30% chance of working and it works. And you're like, yep, of course, of course it hits this time. When really 30% chance is really high, all things considered. <laughs> like, Tari, you live in a much different world than me. You're just throwing out- I'm pretty sure you're throwing out fake terms to confuse me. The only FFT I know is about video games. That's- that's my life. Your 
Your forces are under attack. Captain, you are attacking a large fleet of remaining ships in your vicinity. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna group them all up. Oh, I thought you were trolling me. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, you can. So you can assume, like, any given stream, I'll probably talk about Final Fantasy. Set the course. Make it happen. Receiving transmission. Or Pokemon, or I don't know. Day, Commander. Like I watched the Mario movie, and it made me want to play Super Mario Odyssey. Maybe I'll start talking about that next once I get to it at some point after GDQ. Receiving transmission. Started playing FF9. Are you playing it with uh, like the speed up? Good day, All crews report. Try this bad boy. Focus this dude. See, this is better. I mean, I'm gonna lose one piece of the show. Right? See how much better that is? Like, we're gonna save a lot of time. I don't know why I've been freaking splitting them up so much. But this is. I'm gonna start getting out of level 2 with a lot more greens. Glad I'm starting doing that. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I've never heard of that. That's- I, I had no idea if such a thing existed. Okay. So it just makes it like FF10? Because here's the thing, and maybe you agree. Like, I like FF9's charm, and I love games that are like, love letters to other games in the series, if that makes sense. Like, I love the concept of it, but... Man, it is so slow. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try this again. We're gonna send this dude here. on destroying all of the hives in this area, we may be able to neutralize the sir, oh, without too much trouble. You got it. I'll do it. Our resources are under attack. the nature of your medical emergency. Stat. What? Did someone take me? What? I'll take care of it. What do you need? Escape the nature of your medical emergency. I'll take care of it. Okay, I don't see. Drag this guy in here. How can I be of service? Okay, good timing on that. These minerals are a little late because that SCD uh, went to like the bad mineral. I'm gonna keep this medic over here for now. Oh, 
You know, it's not even worth bringing him. Let's kill this the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm getting bad AI here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this dude on gas. We're gonna move this dude behind the other medic. We're gonna grab Stun. Man, this is this is the exact reason why I stopped running this game. By the way, this is such an annoying mission. The difference is, I would not have done this like, you know, a year ago. So I am happy that at least some innovation has happened. Because the fact that we're only losing 11 seconds there is pretty dang nice, all things considered. 11 seconds is a lot, <laughs> but previously that would have been like 40 seconds, you know. I don't know why I didn't really put much thought into getting stun in the past, but I'm happy, nevertheless, that we do it now. Alright, let's see if we can get a good time on this level. The dream is still alive, by the way. Despite having some horrid RNG there. This is the spot I was looking for. I couldn't- I like lost this earlier somewhere. On the run I did earlier, I was like really confused. Oh, I'm gonna do this, please don't try. Dude. <laughs>
That's so cool though to me. The fact that we can have a horrid mission to me. So like pretty strong as this in play in the other three missions, which are not too RNG based, and end up my, like in the green. That is really, really good. I'm very happy with that. Should pop on new commentary. We were supposed to practice tonight, but unfortunately Dabu got sick. But it's like I always say, it's better to be sick before GDQ. Than it is after. That's be, you're saying that because you got a. Didn't you get a world record at one point? Um. With the practice commentary. Oh, you didn't do an uncommentated run? Hello. Sorry. For some reason, I thought you did. Yeah, I've heard all about the. I'm definitely taking the Monday off when I get home. I'll fly back like the Sunday of the event, somewhere the event ends. Oh, this is bad. I'm definitely taking off the day I get back. And we'll definitely work from home if <laughs> I feel any sickness whatsoever, which I definitely expect to. Hello. You're not gonna give me that skip? That wasn't even a frame one menu. Come on now. We're not going to lose all my units to an Archon this time. I promise that. Hopefully we get the good RNG. I think- oh my gosh, God, this here. I think that's the implication, right? Man. Nice. Yeah, and Dabu is very adamant that this mission existed, like, before Guru did. He's very adamant, that's the case. <laughs> I guess they would've just had wraiths. <laughs> they would've just had wraiths, like the Valkyries <laughs> or the Mutas and Luz. <laughs> so we're gonna do this right. There we go, that's what I was talking about before. Okay, that was clean. I know that's so freaking simple. It's so trivial, but you have no idea how much I messed that up. Okay, we're gonna drop well north. Well north of the Archon. We're not losing the run to an Archon. If it happens again, I'm blaming Blizzard. I'm gonna say they patched the game or something. Because this did not used to happen. Go ahead, Buckle up. I think we save time here, by the way. Like a couple seconds.
I don't believe it's actually higher DPS. I tested it my. That's like the misconception, I believe. I have tested that myself and did not find that to be the case. If I'm wrong, then I am like more than happy to accept that. I don't think I am. It's the same as like um like the concept that if you spam click a marine, or sorry, spam click an SCV on a unit. It will attack faster, which is also not true. I think it's true for SC2, right? Aren't tanks better in SC2 when they're unstaged? It makes me wonder if that is the case and people have assumed the same is true for the war. No way, dude, are you freaking- No! I messed that up pretty bad. What do I do here? Man, and you know what sucks is that small- that small mistake. I mean, it wasn't small. <laughs> but, dude, I swear there's enemies over here somewhere. Just that much of a mistake is enough to kill the cream of ink. Yes, Captain. I'll take care of it right away. Of course. Where does How can I be of service? Right away. I'll take care of it right away. You got it. Of course. You got it. I'll take care of it. Of course. I'll take care of it. Of course. I'll take care of it. You got it. Right away. Fire it up. You got it. Of course. You got it. Right away. I'll take care of it. Right away. I'll take care of it. Right away. You got it. Right away. You got it. Of course. You got it. Of course. I'll it take care of it. Right away. I'll take care of it. You got it. Of course. Vice Admiral. Say good. Surprisingly, that no dialogue, as I mistakenly selected Zergling that I had in the possession for a couple of milliseconds. Surprisingly, that no dialogue takes a long time. <laughs> I think if you're fast enough to select the Zergling, you should just be able to keep it. in my life, by the way. Okay. We got something going on here. So the problem is we, we need to make up those like six... We lost like six seconds. It, it might have been more than that, to be honest. We lost a lot of seconds when we uh, accidentally killed our marines. <laughs> so. so we got a fast... 
Got a fast gate, which is nice. So that could help us make up some time. I would rather them not target any of these medics. Good. Okay, I don't really care if that dude dies. So basically, I have to gold this last mission, <laughs> is what it comes down to. We're comparing it against a really good time, by the way, so this is, uh, yeah. Don't get your hopes up for a sub-32 here. I'm not trying to be a killjoy, but it gets really hard. I also butchered the beginning, so that's not good, but it doesn't matter too much. I'm gonna try my hardest though. In fact, we're gonna skip the safety save. How about that? No safety saves this mission. I mean, I think it only is right to not do safety saves if you're trying to accomplish something. So we would like to see the Hydras not bother these two buildings. That's, that's the first good sign of a good one. And then we need to nail the loading. Which means my hotkeys need to work. I'm not trying to sound like other streamers, by the way, when I complain about my hotkeys mysteriously not going through. I really don't know what happened that time. And I have no idea where the hydros are, but they're not bothering me. So that's good. So we're about to pop. That could have been a little faster, but. Not losing any rings. not good folks we're gonna have to um adjust so this guy yeah this is really bad this is probably not it but we're gonna play it out pretend that we can make this work this guy <laughs> is getting dropped see ya
which means I want the one with seven to be in the front. And then hope that it gets targeted first, which is not a given. I have no idea if this is it or not, by the way. I have no idea if this is it. You can save skip these stupid long sound effects, but it's not even worth it. It's gonna be close. I don't know if it's it, though. I gotta nail these, but I'm going to. Yeah, we got it. G G. By the skin of my teeth, point two nine seconds. Goodness, it really was a lack of save. That's pretty funny. I can't believe I golded that. By the way, I think we owe like a like a memorial, like a statue to that SCV that got dropped by the dropship well before the attack. He doesn't know it because he's long gone, but his life did serve a purpose. His death served a purpose, I should say. Zerg! The very mention of this terrifying race once brought fear to all who heard it. But now we can all rest easy, as our own forces now occupy their very homeworld of Char. Months have passed since our initial confrontation with the Zerg, and now Directorate forces have taken control of the planet Char, long since rumored to cradle the malevolent Overmind of the Zerg. The Overmind itself, an enormous living brain-like entity, dictates control of all the myriad Zerg forces, and it was believed to be planning an invasion of the Earth itself. Once on the offensive, our highly trained directorate forces were more than a match for the beast-like Zerg. Even their fiercest warrior breed could not defeat the greatest military technology in the galaxy. The Zerg forces on Char were completely decimated and their losses were tallied in the millions. But all wars have casualties, and while Directorate losses were minimal, the fleet's Vice Admiral Stukov gave his life during the final Valiant assault on Stukov Char. Stukov was that SCV that we dropped, by the way. Memorial services were held aboard the Directorate flagship Alexander. Vice Admiral Stukov truly <laughs> knew the meaning of sacrifice. Yet his sacrifice was not in vain. The Overmind itself was the prize of the battle. Even now, Directorate psychics and powerful drugs are keeping the creature pacified. The Overmind will undergo extensive research to ensure the continued safety of the United Earth Directorate and of all mankind. Oh man, now we go for 3130, right? No, we don't. We don't go for that. It's funny because, you know, we lost 11 seconds on three, so you could say a 3150 or 3148 is reachable. Plus, we messed up on six, or sorry, on seven and lost like. I know we only lost three seconds, but really we lost more than that. So, I will do what I can in the next week. Um, you know. I think 314X is definitely possible, but we're starting to get to the point, at least with current strats, where we're talking like no mistakes. Like, if I think about this run, I can't really think of many mistakes that I made. I'm not gonna lie. It was like a really very close to flawless run, at least with the current strats. And I don't know if I've made this clear, but 
the reason I have to drop that SCV is because if I need my last two units in a dropship to be medics. They have to be medics. If they're not medics, the whole strat is, is ruined. <laughs> so, but the problem is I rely on a timing. So I, I let each dropship drop six units. And um, when one of the dropships has seven to start with, it, that, that gets messed up too. Which is why I need that dropship to be in front because the strat works around having two medics left in the dropship that has more HP. And the dropship that's in the back is less likely to have to take damage, if that makes sense. So I was kind of